afternoon. What a beautiful afternoon it is. I decided today would be a nice day to just read. Sometimes it's good to not have to answer questions. It's like a part of it or dissect what you're reading or even have to really think about it. It's good to just sit and listen and enjoy. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to read for the pleasure of reading. And I chose one of my very favorite books. I've had this book a very long time. Many of you have heard me read it. If not, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope it becomes one of your favorites too. All books do have a lesson, but today, Let's just listen and let's just enjoy the rainbow fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish, not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, rainbow fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your silver shiny scales. They are so wonderful and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are, cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me, get out of here. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away as he swam by. What good were all the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But, but be, if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in the glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I, I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark, cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never! How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, rainbow fish! Please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one.
carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in amongst his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale, glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. And when the water all around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left, his most prized possessions. They had all been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come on, come play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish. And happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Sometimes I think we can't be satisfied with what we might have right here with us or right before us. I think sometimes we always want more or we always want to be the first. We always want to know more than somebody else, have more than somebody else. And a lot of times we don't realize that when we just stop and we share and we're kind and we give things to others, it makes all the difference in the world, not just to the people we're, we share with and that we're kind to, it makes a difference in ourselves. It puts that little light right here back in our heart and it makes us feel happy too. So maybe this weekend you could be like the rainbow fish and you could choose someone or a group of someone's to do something kind for, to share a smile with, to write a letter to, send a text or an email to, because I guarantee you that that one little act of kindness even if it leaves you with just one of your favorite possessions is going to make you happier and it's most definitely going to make somebody else happier. I'll be back Monday and we're going to have some more Julia cookbooks. You know she's one of my favorite. They always have the greatest lessons. We're going to be talking next week about things that we shouldn't do, things that are inappropriate choices. We're going to be talking about decision making and learning some things that we can do to help us make better decisions. We'll be talking about stealing. We'll be talking about lying. We'll be talking about having to always be the first and the best at everything we do. And maybe a couple of other surprises. You never know, so you'll have to tune in to see. I hope you have a fabulous Friday afternoon and a most wonderful weekend. If the weather's pretty, take your book outside. Go to your hammock, go to a lawn chair, or just sit in the grass and feel the blades of grass under your feet and smell the beautiful air of springtime. Bye.